Good morning, Diddy. Did, look at me. Look. Oh. Good boy. Hi, Diddy. Okay. Well, my Maddie will look at me. My Maddie will be a princess. You're not going to look at Madeline. Sit. Okay. None of you. None of you. Milton. Good boy. <laughs> <laughs> Morning guys, I am up and awake. It is early, but I'm trying something different today. I am exercising first thing in the morning. So normally I wake up around 6.15, but I do some work for about an hour to kind of like wake myself up and then I exercise around 7.30. But today I'm trying to switch the order though, see if I work out first, how that puts me in a productivity mood moving forward. So I'm really just getting my weightlifting out of the way because you guys know I don't like to weightlift, but I need to weightlift. Like if you don't use it, you lose it. That is just so true. But I, can, I see you biceps, I see you triceps, but like I need more. But do you know what I need right now? I need a zip fizz and today we are having bam oh is this peach mango yes tis peach mango tropical deliciousness mm -hmm. yeah this is gonna be a good workout the day can't be bad when you started off with peach mango all right guys let's get ready to shake it in three two one workout, to making myself proud, to being disciplined and consistent, man, to success. Ooh, ooh, to peach mango. Mm. Ooh, every time. hard you're generally supposed to wait like three hours in between exercises but like I got a lot of stuff to do today and some exercise is better than no exercise but at least I'm working out twice okay and this is beautiful like the Sun is rising over there the weather is great look I don't even have on a hoodie like I feel so good so I'm just gonna stay here chilling on my bike listening to some awesome keto conversations then I gotta get my day started. Morning guys, I am done with the YouTube live. I am sitting here working, uh, but I'm hungry. So I'm gonna start off my day with some cello wisps. So Aurelia sent me a package to my P.O. box that was full of cello wisps. So I'm so grateful. So many bags of cello wisps. And these are my absolute favorite kind as well, so. I'm so excited to tear into these. Aurelia, thank you so much. Like, literally. <laughs> okay, so here's what they look like. They just look like cheese chips. Mm. Mm. So crunchy. So cheddary. Plus, I didn't eat anything today before the laugh. So I am like super fasted right now. Mm. But I'm gonna have these and then I have to go to the shop today. And then when I come back, it's all about the meat. That's what she said. We could have had it I know who I am. We're at the shop. See, this is proof. We still work here. Like, it's a thing. It be happening. <laughs> Just saying. But I'm here, though. That's all that matters. So, uh, we're in here. want to show y'all when she's here. We're in here. Mm. 
That lasted way too long. Mm -mm. That's what she said. So, inappro so appropriate. Um, you know, we're in here literally talking shop, talking business, you know, talking all things personal development and improvement. Let's be fine. Yeah, and she's gone. So that's just, that's as quick as it took. Okay. Well, I am wrapping up here and I'm headed home because my husband is making me some meat today. Yes. Okay, comment down below. Have you ever gone through one of those like radio rebrands? Like there was this radio station that I listened to all the times called 106.9 Play and they played the best mix of 80s, 90s and today, right? And I was like, yes, like it had all of my 80s pop. It had all of my like 90s grunge. Like it was just a great adult listening station. Apparently I haven't listened to them in a while because when I just turned on the radio, they were like, you're listening to Mix 106.9. And I was like, what is that? And then they said the best of 2K in today. And I was just like, first of all, I don't dislike 2K music, but where's like the 80s, 90s, you know? Plus their definition of today has gotten like a lot looser. Like now they're just playing pop. I just heard Jason Derulo scream out his own name. <sighs> and I was like, this is not what I come to this radio station for. But like, comment down below. Was there ever a time where you listened to like a radio station and it rebranded and turned into something else and now you are forced to find another radio station? Because I'm not listening to Jason Derulo yell out his own name. That's, that's not what I'm here for. So... I guess I have to find another radio station. But I'm on the way home from the shop and I am about to eat and I'm so excited. Oh, what did I catch my husband in the act of doing? Is he seasoning some uh, flank steak right there? How dare he? Oh, this is crazy town. Do oh, don't act like I'm supposed to know what this magic you're doing is right here. Oh my goodness, so flavorful and delicious. The steak and the man. Oh, no. Okay, so what do we have here? Ugh, ugh, yucky. Chicken. Chicken thighs with the bones in and the skin zone. You guys, this is me experimenting. This is me trying something new this week. Cause y'all know I do not mess with meat on a bone, Lord. But my husband just made some barbecued chicken thighs that were so tasty that I was like, you have to try to make that for me, minus all the bones. So he's gonna cook it and then we're gonna debone it. Okay, so going on the chicken is this Lily's Zero Sugar Carolina Barbecue Sauce. We actually got a packet of this from the Keto Crate a while ago and it was so delicious. And then the next week we found it in Meyer, and we were like, oh my God, that must be a sign. But honestly, this stuff is like $3 more expensive than G Hughes or something like that. So we were like, well, we'll wait. But we got a coupon in the mail. And we was like, what better time to experiment than with the chicken thighs and the barbecue sauce? So I'm excited. It's such a beautiful day outside that I implored my husband, husband, please set my meats on the grill. Don't leave them inside. Let the meats outside to be free. Exactly. Oh my That's goodness. That, and that is what he's doing so well, might I add. Oh my gosh. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. I am so excited about that sizzle. Okay. So let's see what these chicken thighs look like. Oh, okay. Looking good. Look at those disgusting pile of bones. Now, babe, you're not gonna throw those away, are you? Everyone in the WAC fam would probably freak out. They were like, oh, you can make broth and stock and blah, blah, blah. Y'all can keep them right there, okay? I don't want them. But this looks delicious. Oh barbecue, well, this is right now just grilled chicken that my honey bun's about to turn into a barbecue chicken. And then look at my meats. Oh yeah, pink meats. Oh, these is gonna be cooked some more, but right now they look delicious. Just like my husband. Oh, my oh there he is. Thank you. Thank you for making my meats. I love you. <laughs> Here we have my husband dipping my chicken meat in the barbecue sauce mixture. That's exciting. Oh, it looks so good. Lily's barbecue. 
Lily's Q. Yes, you're right. Mmm, look at that. That's so great. Thank you, sweetheart. Okay, guys, this is what I like to call steak plate, okay? It is a plate covered in steak, right? So, my barbecue chicken is in the oven, and I'm so excited for that to just get all ooey gooey and sticky and barbecue-y. But that means I got time to eat my steak. So, as you saw, my husband put the flank steak on the grill, just seasoned it, olive oil, salt, and pepper. Then he cut it up into his little meat slices, right? And then what I had done was like cook it some more all the way through, like finish cooking it, let's be honest, you know? And I put some of that G. Hughes uh, steak sauce on there, and now it is just like hot and steaky. Ugh, it's just, I mean, can you just see? Like, it just, it's just pieces of meat, right? This is, talk about ancestral, you know? Like, this is how our ancestors ate, just uh, ripping meat, not off the bone, because I don't do that, right? But like, still, just chunks of meat. Mm. Oh my God. It's so good. Like, it's just meat. It's just meat and spices and sauce. Mm-hmm. I did not think I would like steak this much. This is eight ounces of flank steak right here. So I'm going to eat this. And then I'm excited to try my chicken. Mm-hmm. Mm. Come on now. Get you a husband that cuts up your chicken meats for you. Oh my god, they look so good. You're so cute. I was talking about the chicken, but then when I looked at you, now I'm like, oh, I'm talking about you too. Okay, guys, and now we have this amazing plate of barbecue chicken. I can't tilt it over too much because I don't want to spill not a, even a drop of this. Like, oh, that's how delicious it is. This is that grilled chicken thighs that my husband basted in butter and barbecue sauce and we put in the oven to finish. I mean, just look at this delicious chicken. Mm. And this Lily's barbecue sauce is really good. It tastes different than pretty much all of the G. Hughes flavors that I've had. I like it a little bit better because it doesn't have like that sweet erythritol-y taste that G. Hughes has. I mean, this is a winner. So I'm gonna have this and then it is moon cheese time. You guys, words cannot describe how delicious and like super filling all of that meat was. Like eight ounces of steak, eight ounces of chicken, like that was absolutely delicious. But now comes dessert and I am excited because my dessert is moon cheese. This is probably my favorite, no, this is definitely my favorite low carb snack that you can buy in the store. Like. It's just bits of cheese. I love it when I get down to my very last serving because now I'm like, I don't need to pour this into a bowl. This is the bowl, right? <laughs> okay. Look at all those delicious puffed kernels of cheese. I wonder if there's like a YouTube video on how they make this. Mmm, it's just puffy cheddar and it's delicious. Mm. Oh man, oh, so salty. So crunchy, mm, out of this world. Okay guys, I am done eating for the day, but I did decide to have a diet uh, Cherry 7-Up. I really like these. Uh, I have some Sprite Zero and some Sunkiss Zero as well. I'm gonna be having a diet soda at the end of my days. I really am getting to the point where I'm trying to use all of my calories for food and not save any for like sweet desserts, so I've realized that just like a simple can of, of diet soda like really quenches that sweet for me. Granted, if I wanna be better, I could choose like Zevia or something because I know these like sweeteners aren't the business, but hey, we gotta start somewhere, right? So I'm gonna have this. I honestly still have about like half a gallon of water to drink, so I'm gonna do that, but I have a few more hours of work to do uh, and then I'm calling it a night. Cheers. Okay guys, I am going to sleep. I just got off some amazing meetings. They were really good, but I'm sleepy. There's my Didi boy. Diddy. DJ. DJ. Look, no, look at, look at me. Hi, DJ. <laughs> Hi, Didi boy. Oh, all right. Bye bye. Okay. Okay. So today was a super successful day. Okay. I had some delicious cello wisps. I had some awesome meats. Right. I had steak and chicken and delicious array of sauces. 
Uh, and then I finished with moon cheese and diet soda. Like, I'm really feeling good about this week and I cannot wait to see how this high protein keto thing continues to go. Comment down below, what is your favorite recipe for chicken thighs? Like, I may be converted now. I mean, plus those things were so inexpensive, right? So comment down below, what is your favorite chicken thigh recipe? And maybe I'll make it, who knows? Okay, have a good day and I will see you next week. Bye. Let's go. Ew. Live your live your best son life. It rejuvenates okay? my wife. It does. Let it rejuvenate you. Nice. You're so inspirational. Oh my god. Um, did y'all hear him? Y'all know I'm about to get ratchet. Oh my gosh.